Hello, I am Licia from the WPlingua team. Let me give you a demonstration of our translation plugin. Go to the Extensions tab, add a WPlingua extension, install it, and then activate it. We are simply going to request an API key. I click here. The website's URL is already pre-filled. The email address is also pre-registered. If this is not correct, feel free to change it. The site's language is also pre-filled based on your site's settings. All you have to do is choose a translation language. Then click on Get an API key. You will receive this API key by email. You just need to paste it into the designated field and confirm. We will wait during the translation generation. A few seconds later, the site is translated and we can go visit it. We notice that we are already on the URL of the translated language and we can see that the page has been fully translated. At the bottom of the screen is the language selector that allows you to switch from the original language to the translated language. Once the home page is translated, I invite you to browse the other pages of your site to generate the translations for the first time. Simply navigate through your site as an internet user would. At the top of the screen, you will notice a progress bar for the translation generation. When the generation is finished, the translated language is available, and we start again for the other pages. Once you have gone through your entire site, you can return to the back office to continue adjusting the extension settings. In the WP Lingua General Settings tab, you will find the flag editing option. You can change the flags according to the languages used. In the Language Selector tab, you can change the appearance of the language selector to block, inline, or drop down, how the languages should be displayed, the shape of the flags, and you can also choose a different theme. A little further down, you can add your own CSS. And finally, you have options to choose where to insert this language selector. If you want an automatic insertion, you have the option to display it in the center, on the right, on the left, or not display it at all. You can also use a short code to display the language selector at a specific location on your site. And finally, you can also add the language selector directly to your menu. To do this, you need to go to the Appearance menu tab. You will notice a section named WPlingua that allows you to add the language selector directly to the menu. The good news about this language selector in the menu is that it will to adapt to your theme. So no matter which WordPress theme you are using, the language selector will integrate perfectly with your design. When you return to the settings of WPlingua, there is a tab named Dictionary that allows you to add translation rules. You also have an exclusion tab that allows you to exclude pages or parts of pages if you do not want them to be translated. Finally, in the All Translations tab, you will find the list of all your translations. You will notice that there is no duplication of pages. If I go to the Pages tab, all the pages, there are only my initial pages. The translations, however, are well stored in all the translations of WP Lingua. Of course, these translations are editable. You just need to click on them. Make your changes and save. But this is not the only way to edit the translations of your site. Look, if we go to the site in the translated versions, I click on the translation version. Here we see a button that appears, giving you access to our visual editor. And now we see that all the translation strings are framed. For example, I click on it, I make my changes, and I confirm. When a translation has been modified and corrected, you will quickly notice it by its green box. Once you have finished editing your translations, you can click on Return to the page. And we can see that the change has been immediately taken into account. Finally, to conclude this demonstration video, I have two good news. The first is that WP Lingua is so friendly. This means that all the translated versions of your site can be indexed by search engines. As you can see in the page's source code, WP Lingua manages the HTML, href lang, and lang tags. Additionally, besides making all the translated pages of your site indexable, WP Lingua also allows you to translate the HTML tags that are not visible but are very important for natural SEO. For example, the SEO title tag, the meta description tag, or the alternative text for images. Look, here I have entered my SEO title and my meta description. To translate it, it's very simple. I go back to my page, activate the visual editor for all the translations on the page, and here 
I find all the texts that are not necessarily visible on the page, such as the SEO title tag and the meta description tag. I just need to click to make my changes and validate them. This way, nothing is left to chance. Your site will be well optimized in all translated languages. The other good news is that WP Lingua allows you to translate your site into 24 languages with the first language offered for free if your site is non-commercial and the number of translated words is unlimited. If you want to use WP Lingua on a commercial website or if you want to add more translated languages, I invite you to opt for the premium license of WP Lingua. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via our contact form. And if you use WP Lingua and enjoy it, feel free to leave us a small review on the official WordPress directory.